So let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then some began to spit at him. They blindfolded him, struck him with their fists. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain, he bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and to cause him to suffer. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being, and his form marred beyond human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. But therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Come on, is he the Lord? Is he the savior of your soul? Give Jesus a shout of praise.